Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play of Grandia for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I got this back around when it came out, and to be perfectly honest, I remember very, very little. <laughs> uh, I remember the characters, or some of them. Uh, I remember really enjoying the game. I don't remember the music because I got uh, the Xenogears Ranged album created at about the same time and I was listening to that the whole time, so I kind of associate that music with this game more than the game's music itself. Um, basically, I remember a few plot twists. I remember the very end scene. Not like the ending, I don't even remember the end boss. Um, and that's really about it. <laughs> so, characters, couple plot twists, the final, final scene. That's really about it. So I will be uh, uh, experiencing this fairly fresh. Which is always kind of fun to uh, have happen. This introductory sequence really reminds me a lot of uh, Makoto Kobayashi's uh, artwork. It's so like, part of it is the, uh, I don't know it's shading, but the, the detail on the clouds. That's, that's very Makoto Kobayashi-esque. I don't think he worked on this, though. It's kind of a shame. Pretty nice in introductory uh, uh, video. Um, there were a lot of games, uh, RPGs, on the PlayStation 1 that had really nice uh, intro sequences like this. I don't think you get that much anymore, really. It's kind of a shame. I mean, s sure, there are some games that... that definitely still have them, but, uh, I don't know, nothing's really stood out to me, uh, like, uh, this, and especially Breath of Fire 4. That one's really nice. I'll be playing that eventually. Oh god, it's glowing at us. Are you prepared for cheesy voice acting? Because that's what we're in for. Once it loads. You know what the warm, warm, warm sound effect? I didn't do it. Uh, I guess I must have dozed off. I suppose so. I had that dream again. Bastards. They're hounding me. That intro was your dream. Where are we now? It's a little bit odd. It's only been a half an hour since you asked last. But he fell asleep. He doesn't know how long it's been. You look tired, General Ball. Well, he was just asleep. I keep telling you, Mullen. When there are no soldiers around, you should call me father. Excuse me. Mm, but nepotism. Lieutenant Lean is still here. Yeah, she's a woman. She doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just like you to answer like that. But you know that Lean is a very special part of our military plans. Aren't you, Lean? Yeah, all right, that, that makes me feel a little grody. The third excavation of the salt runes is almost finished. That's pretty salty there. I'm counting on you, too. Lean. What, aren't you going to say anything? We've assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. Uh, y you know that someone's going to foul that up, right? I'm sure that we'll hear good news. Just saying. Little... The current time is 13.40 hours. Mm, stock now, sound effects. Now Palm Airspace, our ETA is 15.30 Hours. Sound effect is definitely in Wizardry Lee. 8. 
Open the viewports for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. She has some heavy footfalls, jeez. Maybe she's related to Mr. Heavyfoot. Ah! Oh, God, no, 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 oh, oh, it's so bright out. Oh, close them. I have no idea what the bat, what, I mean, if, if the title is supposed to be showing part of an image or if it's just random colors. Never figured that out. Odd musical cue. I do like this, uh, this bit of music. And I think someone is very pleased with, uh, um, their programming and design for this town. So this is definitely in the, um, Xenogears esque, you know, style of uh, CG graphics, 3D graphics. What can I say? I played that game so much that everything either reminds me of it or doesn't remind me of it. Yeah, someone's in a hurry. I like how she's holding up her dress there. It's a very interesting hair ornament. I think she might be looking for someone. Well, that's an interesting sign there. Hey, you. Uh oh. This will teach you, you punk. Ow! Oh, that's gotta hurt. Man, don't go oh, picking on a little Justin, kid. Not you again. Oh, you apparently just don't you don't. Learn trashing my shit again. I didn't trash it. It was already trash. Why won't you listen to me? Because you're a kid. I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. But you're technically neither. Shut up! There's no treasure in all that junk. Well, now he knows now that's true. Trashed it. Ow! Anyway, don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? Well, now he knows there's no treasure there. So you don't have to worry about that. Ouch. That awful man, he never, ever understands. Well, you're a kid pretending to be a treasure hunter. Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Justin, Justin, you okay? Her, her hair ornament is alive. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Don't worry. A punch like that, nothing to it. Because there's nothing upstairs. It comes with the territory. Getting punched in the head right. comes with the territory? So how'd it go? Did you find anything in the shed? Nah, nothing at all. It really was all junk. Maybe you should have listened to him wrong. in the first place. But Sue, what about you? Of course. I found something. It's an apron. Here it is. I, it's an apron. Armor. No, I it's an apron. Your hair oh, ornament yeah. is alive. Puffy helped too. And it's named Puffy. Here you go, Justin. The legendary armor. It's an apron. See, at least the game acknowledges it. Dirty apron That's acquired. First one. That leaves. The shield of light. It'll probably be a pot lid. The warrior's helmet. Probably be a pot. And the spirit sword. Might actually be a sword. Don't forget, we gotta get him by sundown, or we'll lose. But it'll probably be a toy sword. Yuck, I don't wanna marry that awful god. What the hell did you guys agree to? It's really your fault, Justin. You're the one that took Gons up on his dare. Seriously? You'd better take responsibility. Okay. And how is he supposed to take responsibility for that? You're the one who would get on. married. Let's go show this to Gons. Puppy, let's go too. <laughs> uh, you already are going. 
We found it, Gans. The first treasure. It's an apron. And now we've got free roam. All right. Well, let's uh, let's talk to Gans. If I can figure out, get there. We go. If it isn't just it, take your sweet time, aren't you? First-rate adventurer, schmincher. The end of the world is found, and there's no use for adventurers. You're way behind the times. There is no end of the world. Huh? You don't even know that? You a first-rate adventurer? There's no way you're going to find the four treasures before sundown. This duel is as good as one. As you promised, starting tomorrow, Sue's in my gang. I, Gantz, will take her as my bride. <sighs> so creeped out. No way, Gantz. We got plenty of time before sundown. Hey, Gantz, looky here. <coughs> Shows the dirty apron to Gantz. Ugh, you found the legendary armor. Haha, <laughs> how about that? Mm, don't get big-headed just because you found the legendary armor. That's all you found so far. I reckon I can give this third-rate adventure just a clue to the hidden treasures. You listening? I'll find them without your clues. Eh, where's the warrior's helmet? The warrior's helmet? It's in a place where you always hear the sound of running water. The sound of running water? I'm not sure if you can actually get them without uh, getting the clues. Where's the shield of light? The shield of light? It's in a place where you always hear seagulls squawking. Hmm, seagull squawking. Within cloth, Justin. The four treasures are hidden around North Palm. Parm. Uh, you should have, uh... Lisped on those uh, S's there. You'll never be able to find them all before sundown. <laughs> if you don't fix that tooth soon, none of the girls will like you, Kazuru. Oh, no. Why don't you just give up, Justin? And Sue will become Gantz's bride, right? I'll live happily ever after. Stop that, Goose. I don't want to be Gantz's bride. Wouldn't you have to agree to it in the first place? Alright. Yeah, okay, there is a button that I can use to run. Whee! Hello! Oh, it's you, Justin. You're playing with Gantz again? You guys really are good friends. We had God's good friends? No way! I'm having a duel with him! Yeah, this is what I said. We're playing with him. Alright, well, sound of running water. This is something that I remember. There's a ladder there, by the way. You can rotate the screen. It's a pot, and it's flashing at us. Say, Justin, you think this pot could be the warrior's helmet? Yeah, I think you're right. This must be the warrior's helmet. <laughs> Just you wait, Gantz. Battered pot acquired. Hello? I gotta find a good hiding place. I gotta do it quick or Pippi will find me. Are you Pippi? Promise, Justin, don't tell anyone that I'm hiding here, okay? Playing hide and seek, huh? What should I do? Maybe I'll maybe I'll rat you out to it. Justin, don't be so mean. But you gotta find a better hiding place or you're gonna get found. Uh, let's go talk to people. Hello. I've been seeking for so long, and I still haven't found anybody. Being it and hide and seek is tough. That's right, Pippi, you're so gentle natured, so maybe you're not cut out to be it. Hello? Uh, nothing to do. There's nothing more boring than when you get found in hide-and-seek. I gotta keep standing here until she finds everyone. Anyway, what you doing, Justin? Glad you asked. I'm having a duel with Gantz. Alright, I, I thought that was like a, a, an older person. Say, Justin, I, hear you, I heard you're playing a treasure hunt game with Gantz. You're not gonna lose out to Gantz, are you, Justin? Hmm... <coughs> The illusion of choice. I think I can win. Of course, I'll win easily. That Gantz is no problem. Uh, I doubt it matters. Of course, I'll win easy. I thought so, Justin. That away. If Gantz wins, only Tense and Kazuru are going to be happy for him. Everyone's on your side, Justin. Wow. 
Man, they don't much like this uh, Gantz character, do they? Hello? They say the future of our forces in the world depends on their salt ruins operation. At least that's what General Ball says, anyway. But still, I never thought I'd be digging holes. Hey, it, it's... it's... better than nothing in times of economic stress. Say, Justin, isn't salt the ruins of an ancient civilization? Why is the army investigating it? Well, ancient civilizations always have, uh, um... What is this? Always have, uh, ancient, uh, high-tech advanced weaponry. I'm the strongest one in all of Parm. You got a problem with that? Come at me. What's the strongest? I know, it's gotta be Gantz. That is like Gantz. Tee hee. Hmm. Who's behind this, sticking those flyers on the walls of other people's houses? Ah, I know. It must have been you, Justin. Huh? It wasn't me. Look in these eyes. Are these lying eyes? No! Yeah, actually, they totally are. Duel of the Century. Gantz, defender of the justice versus Justin the Coward. The hunt for the four treasures begins. What is this? It says Justin the Coward. Gantz is in for it now. That's right. Why, it doesn't even have my name or Puffy's name either. That's pretty rude. Y you're totally missing the point, Sue. Oh, I can't get behind between those buildings. Oops. Didn't actually mean to go uh, off the map, but I guess we can do that. Port of Parm. I know that there's uh, one over here anyway. Hey right, kids, passengers only only beyond this point. Come on, go home. Ah, come on. I just want to look for something. Can't I come in for a little bit? Well, it's not like they're going to stop us. So this is a save point. I guess I can save. Just to do so, uh, to... Well, I didn't actually have to initialize, uh, initialize the uh, memory card. Can we do anything with that gate? No. Hmm. That is flashing. Could this pot lid be the shield of light? Hey, you know what? It does look like a shield. Come on, let's pick it up. Pot lid acquired. Hello? Oh, is that potlid yours? Did you bring it from the kitchen of Lily's Seagull Restaurant? Hmm? Isn't it sort of dirty to be Lily's? No, no, this is Mom's. Oh, so apparently Lily is our mother. Can I, can I, nope. Hello? I am a foundering ship. I love you. Why are you wandering around here? Did you lose something? I was just thinking of a line to set my girl's heart on fire. Finally gonna propose to her. I'm going to win her heart on a romantic night at, at the harbor. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Ah, I love the sea. Horizon as far as you can see, uninterrupted white caps. When I look at the sea, I feel refreshed as if it w washes my body and soul. But his back is covered in se with seagull droppings. Ew. Ew, you're right. Ew. Damn seagulls. There's nothing worse in this world than seagulls. Nothing. Alright, so we've got uh, three of the four treasures, and we need to find uh, the other one. Hello? I'm in the Young Men's Club. Can't you see that palm's full of activity? It keeps on developing. The time for youth has come. That's what the Young Men's Club is for. How about it? Want to join, Justin? Mm, I think I'll pass. If I joined, I couldn't be adventuring when I I couldn't go adventuring when I wanted. Now we've got our menu here. Items we can uh, exit out of the menu apparently. Japan, why do you keep switching up the uh, um, buttons on me? So, I've got a wooden pole right now, plus five attack, an ordinary wooden pole. I've got a cut board. I can swap it with my pot lid, worn out pot lid. It is the same. I've got goggles, so I can swap it out with the iron pot. 
but uh, that is worse. My uh, Justin's favorite goggles are uh, plus two defense. So apparently the goggles do something in this game. Uh, adventure. I'm apparently just... Oh, okay, it says up the top. Dang it. I was hoping it didn't say that. I didn't realize it said that. Yeah, adventure clothes. I can change it with the dirty apron plus one uh, defense. I've got sneakers. Plus 35 move. Comfortable. And hero badge. Plus two action. Badge worn by dad. So let's check out uh, Sue. She has a toy bow, a child's toy, plus five attack, mittens, woolen mittens, cute mittens, and same defense as the pot lid. She's got a ribbon, not much protection. <laughs> About as much protection as an iron pot, though, so it can't be uh, that bad. She's got Sunday best, so the dirty apron is worse. She's got dress shoes, uh, itty bitty shoes, plus 30 action, and mama's amulet, plus two defense, Sue's emotional support. I like that you get these little uh, details about that. Uh, magic right now, don't have any at all, Sue doesn't have any. Uh, so you've got SP for um, skills, MP for magic. Uh, and this uses uh, levels of spells like uh, um, Final Fantasy 1 or, of course, uh, AD&D. Uh, let's see. He currently has a V Slash. Uh, level 1 with swords gives him that. And you can see that uh, as he gets levels in various weapon types, um, he'll learn new skills. And... Right now, Sue has Puffy Kick and Rah Rah. Um, looks like she has uh, uh, at least two more that she can learn at those levels, weapon levels. And I think that's about it. You can take a look at the uh, status. You get weapon experience. So we will uh, want to switch out uh, our weapons as we play through the game. Oh, can I look at the sign? If I can navigate to it. Port Road. Okay. Now, I think there's a way to... Ah, yes. There is a map. Okay. Um, it's not fully zoomed out, and I'm not sure that I can zoom out any more. I can zoom in a little bit and zoom out a little bit on this. Otherwise, not very much. I, I kind of wish that the... Uh, um, uh, sticks zoom uh, change the uh, camera rather than L and R. I don't like L and R for uh, camera that much. But what are you going to do? Hey, Justin, did you hear that crazy inventor in South Parm has invented something else again? That inventor won't stop, but it sounds interesting. Maybe I should go see him. You're about the only one who goes to visit that crazy inventor guy. Well, we all we, we know that crazy inventor guys are always uh, important. Hey, 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 don't you come near. You're gonna get soot on my clothes. This town is filled with sooty, ki so sooty kids. Come on, with the factories, it can't be helped. Sir, aren't you enjoying the co conveniences from the factories? Uh, but, but if it weren't for the Jewel Foundation, then all the factories would be closed, right? But if there were no factories, the Jewel Foundation would go bankrupt, right? That, there, there are dinosaurs there. The, the gate has dinosaurs, or kissing dinosaurs, actually. Excuse me, why does the gate have kissing dinosaurs? Uh, it's too peaceful here. The Garlisle forces can't be much, can't be of much use sitting around in the town of Parm. Excavating ruins doesn't work for a soldier. Soldiers are pretty useless now. Should have become an engineer. Well, then you'd be excavating ruins anyway. Also, it was good enough for the Roman soldiers. Okay, admittedly, they didn't really do much excavation, but they did a lot of construction. And here there's a few places on the new continent of Valencia where the Garlisle forces can be useful. Okay, so there's a new... Whoa! Oh no, I'm busted! It's Justin! 
I'm pretty sure that slowdown uh, was in the original game, too, but I'm not positive of that. Wasn't that Tense who just ran away? Too bad he's Gantz's little brother. Otherwise, he's pretty cute. You think so? I guess he is a lot better than Gantz. I don't know about... Cute. Excuse me, sir. Oh, if it isn't you, Justin, you mustn't be playing all day. This is the age of learning. You must study diligently or be left behind the... Left... Or be left behind the advance of science. I think there's a word missing there. You're just always playing around. No, I can't stand this guy. I don't like studying either. Bye-bye. Hey, young man, listen to me. Nope. I have someone to go find. All right. Ah, I think that's you. It's him again. I better run, run. Uh, you just phased right through me. Why didn't I catch him? What's up with tense? What do you think, Justin? I don't know, but he's pretty intense. Okay, that's... We're back there again. Oh no, I'm busted! It's Justin! What? Hmm... Maybe I need to, like, sneak up on him. Oh! I didn't know I could interact with that. Neat. Huh, the sign says something, but the letters are so small. Uh, what does it say? If you're feeling nauseous, please come this way. Ew, yuck, what's the smell? Could it be? Ew. Good coffee and beautiful women. Yes, this must be what they mean by truthful advertising. It's true that Miss, Miss Kirlian is beautiful, but Justin, you haven't even tasted the coffee. To the underground cafe. Can I look at the sign? All right, well, I need to figure out, uh... Oh, I can go into that, into house three. Didn't exactly mean to, but... Hello! Oh, Justin, have you come to listen to Gramps' stories again? I'm amazed you don't get sick of hearing the same stories over and over. Even if he hears it over and over, Justin still forgets it. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey! Glad to see you, Justin. I know why you're here. You want to hear fairy tales, right? Well, which one do you want to hear today? Uh, tell me the happy adventure. Uh, maybe the prince and the princess. Enough for today, get some rest. Now, well, let's, let's listen to some stories. Once upon a time, there was an adventurer who traveled the world and picked up lots of treasure. But this kind-hearted man gave all his treasure to the poor. Everyone said he was a fool, but to this man, the only true treasure was the adventure itself. The man continued his adventures and lived a happy life ever after. The end. Um. I'm gonna go review that on Amazon, and you're not gonna like it. Uh, maybe the prince and the princess. Once upon a time, an evil wizard cast a spell upon a prince and turned him to stone. The prince's fiancé, the princess of the next kingdom, became so sad that she cried from dawn to dusk. But oddly enough, the tears of the princess fell on the prince and broke the spell. How did it manage to get over there wherever he was? The evil wizard was cast out of the kingdom and the prince and princess lived happily ever after. Such a romantic story. I'd like to fall in love with the handsome prince. Once again, going on Amazon, you're not going to like the review. Can I look at any of this stuff? Neat. I completely forgot that you can interact with stuff like that. Alright, well, we got to, uh... figure out how to snag tents here. Maybe we need to come upon him... sneaky-like. Hmm... No real way to, uh, sneak up on him here. Yeah, it looks like it's just, uh, looping around. I need to figure out what I need to do to grab him or something like that. 
Uh, but I think that'll be next time. Oh, incidentally, there is a compass in the uh, top corner of the screen. Uh, the bit in the center with the yellow arrow, that will point to the exit of a dungeon. Since we're in a town, it's just slowly rotating. Uh, the red bit is north, so that is north. And, of course, we can spin it around. Uh, but when we come back, we will see what we can do about grabbing tents and figure out why he thinks he was busted by uh, me coming across him. Can't get back there. Anyway, see you next time, everyone.